Hello, hello, you guys. Hopping on here from day two of camping. So you can see behind me, I'm coming to you from our RV today. Yes, I go camping. Some people call it glamping. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but I'm still going to put makeup on again today, even though I'm out, we're going to go for a hike and I'm still going to like put some makeup on because I feel like it and I want to, and I want to show you, um, some easy ways that if this is up your alley too, that you can do this and not, you know, look overly made up while you're still out for a natural day. So I have taken care of my skincare already. Um, I used our Age Reversus line, so it's got lots of moisture. Um, I've got a little bit of additional product on there that has some sunscreen in it because I'm going to be out without a hat on today, out hiking around. Um, and then even though, again today, I'm going to put on the pressed powder as my foundation because it's awesome, I'm still going to put a primer on. And this is our VFX Pro Primer. It's a cream base, so it's gonna give me a little bit more moisture still. And it smells really good. And it's still gonna help um, my concealer and my powder be really even and not sink into any maybe imperfections that I have in my face and in the skin on my face. Okay, so that's on. And my kids are up at the park right now and they are like popping back down. The camera's moving because my dog is jumping around in here. So busy day, lots to do. And so even though I'm going to put this on, I still am not going to take a whole bunch of time. Just going in with the fingers today. Oh my God. We've had so much fun. Just even on our first day, we got up here yesterday afternoon, got everything set up. This particular campground that we're in has like two parks and it has this older train that they've, you know, like converted so kids can play on it. Like a, like a, it was like a kid's choo-choo train anyway. And so beautiful last night, the sun was setting, the kids were out just running crazy. Um, and we were so loud, but it was fine because we were outside and the kids could run around and do whatever. Um, do you ever get out and on day one of a trip somewhere, you go to, to get something and you figure out what you forgot? We were, we were positive. We were positive. We absolutely packed everything. Had to have packed everything. We had so much stuff in the trailer. Of course we still forgot stuff. Of course we still forgot stuff. Um, we're up in the mountains. We're up in um, Crickle, Cripple Creek, Cripple Creek, Colorado. So definitely up at some elevation. So even though yesterday where we live it was 90 degrees outside, um, when we got up here, because we're so much higher, it's a little bit cooler and by the time the sun started to set it got like cool enough for sweatshirts and we had forgotten sweatshirts for one two three four of my five children so thank goodness for camp stores because we had to definitely run down to our camp store and grab I had to reach across the table here grab some um, sweatshirts and they were like well you have to if we're gonna run your card we have to have a five dollar limit and I was like I think I think we're covered on that okay so concealers on I'm still gonna go in with the transparent setting powder and just set that in the longest thing about this routine today is going to be the mascara just getting the mascara on. So transparent setting powder is in. And then I'm gonna go, this is the Face Perfecting um, Press Powder. I use this a lot, like a loose powder. When I go in with this brush and kind of swirl it around, it breaks it up a little bit. So I'm just going in with this. This is my foundation for today. It's gonna get me a little extra coverage and blockage from the sun. It's just going to even out the tone a little bit. 
If you are hopping on, say hello. Let us know you're here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. How are you? Linda's with us today. If you are catching this on the replay, hit hashtag replay, hashtag new girl. Oh, and my light just went out. Hmm. Okay. My light just went out. I mean, we're still camping. Let me see. Let me see if I can adjust this really quick so we can get some better better light over here. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Hang with me. Hang with me. Okay. We'll go with that for right now. All right. So we've got, well, let me get back on camera. Okay. So now, just like yesterday, I'm going to do a light brow because I've got a lot of powder. I'm sorry, you guys, about the lighting. I've got a lot of powder and, um, um, concealer on my face and I don't want these, I don't want my brows to just kind of, um, oh, good. I'm glad you're good. We are loving camping, loving it. This is one of our favorites. This is one of our favorites. This is actually a new place that we are going to. We had not ever been to this campground before and it's so beautiful. It has like this amazing views. There we go, you can kind of see it better right there. Amazing views of the Rocky Mountains. Technically that's what we're up in is the Rocky Mountains. Um, and oh, like the views last night were so beautiful. It was enough to make your heart hurt. It was just amazing, just amazing. Okay. So I'm just going in with a little bit of powder on my natural brow line. And when I put this in and then hit it with the finishing or the time locker setting spray, it's not going to be going anywhere. I don't know why that one's a little darker. So we'll go in here. But if you, if you have a chance to uh, scroll through some of the pictures, so yesterday, I threw some makeup on right as we were leaving. We left. That was about 1.30. And I snapped some photos with the kids yesterday uh, evening at like 8.30, almost 9 o'clock. And all that stuff was still going strong. Let me see if I bring in some light that way. That's a little better. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys, about the shadowing. Okay. So... Eyebrows are done. We're going to go in here with the 3D Effect Mascara today. Beautiful, beautiful look on the lashes. Like I said, this is going to be the longest part of this whole deal today. It's Saturday. What is everybody else doing today on their Saturday? We were able to sneak away a day early, so we left yesterday, Friday. Oh, I love a little mini long weekend, just away from everything. We played cards yesterday. We did s'mores. We, um, we got here and, and they're in a burn band, so we couldn't do like an open fire. So we totally took like our s'more sticks <laughs> and did s'mores um off of the propane grill <laughs> it was fun it was an adventure they still melt marshmallows beautifully i would just like to point out so you know we get a little bit creative so we could still have fun with those camping traditions that we have our kids are like how are we going to do that if we can't have fire? My oldest son, who is extraordinarily literal, he's the most literal kid that I have for sure. If you walk out and you tell him that the grass is green, gosh darn it, that grass had better be green when he sees it because he will tell you that you said it was green. It can't be light green. It can't be some version of green. It had better be green. And so when he heard yesterday that we couldn't build a wood fire 
in his mind, he was just like, oh, well, then we can't do s'mores. We can't do s'mores. So he's like telling his siblings, nope, nope, we can't do s'mores. We can't do s'mores. They said no wood fires. We can't do s'mores. Yeah. We figured out a way around that. We sure did. Thanks, Linda. Yeah, it's been so much fun. It was so much fun. We played and played until, well, I mean, I played with the kids a little bit, but they were out running around until literally the sun went down. Until the sun went down and then we came back and they broke out sleeping bags. It was awesome. It was awesome. Good memories had by all. And then today, we're gonna go on a hike. Normally we do like a little family hike walk thing on Sundays, but um, since we are gonna be traveling back tomorrow, we're gonna do it today. And they're supposed to get some rain this afternoon. So once again, oh, the wind just blew my trailer door shut. Once again, I am trying to kind of hurry through and just get a very simple look going on here. Okay. Okay. I am going to, I'm going to try and move you guys. So I feel like it's very shadowed. So hang with me for just a second. Let me see if I can get some light. There we go. Some light on the face. That's better. That's better. Okay. I got light coming in from the window. So while that's drying, I'm still going to use um, some eyeshadow today. If you are jumping on, say hi. Let me know you're here. I'm going to use the um, golden cream eyeshadow. It has a name. I haven't memorized them all yet. Golden shot cream eyeshadow. And so I'm gonna put just a little bit of primer on, so just so you can see the color a little bit better. And then we're gonna do some blush, some quick lips, and we'll be done. Will not take long at all. Not at all. Primer is good. So much natural light. You guys, I haven't even like with the hair today. We're just, we're just kind of fluffing that back up a little bit. You can see where I kind of laid on it on this side. It's fine. It's fine. It just looks like camping here. Where we are, um, they have RV campers, and they also have, um, they have RV camping, and they have cabins, and they have tents. So my kids are kind of fascinated with the idea of tent camping because we have never taken them tent camping before. And so, yeah, they're like, to them, they think it sounds like this exciting adventure. To me, it sounds like a bad night's sleep. I've done it. I loved it when I was a kid. Um, but as an adult, I absolutely enjoyed <laughs> sleeping in a bed last night. Um, yeah. So that's where we're going to go with. And when they're grown, if they want to go tent camping, I'm sure I will take them when they're teenagers to go camping in a tent and because this is so light you guys I'm not being like overly precise with putting it on I just want a little bit of that golden glow on the eyes and I'm only going about halfway in into the crease just like that same thing on the other side Just kind of in the crease, halfway across the lid, so that I've got a little bit of glow, a little bit of color on the eye, but still a very light, still a very light color. See? Not much at all. I'll take some better pictures, too, when I'm done with this. I don't know why my, my light shut out, but... And then I'm really, I'm not even going in with a blender brush on the eyes. I'm just using my fingers to kind of blur those lines and make sure that they are good. Okay, now for the blush, I think tomorrow I'm going to show you guys how to use the lip and cheek on the blush. 
the lip and cheek stain. It'd be good if I used full sentences, right? The lip and cheek stain. So this is what all of my makeup stuff is in <laughs> while we're out here. Just plastic bags, just plastic bags because they're so convenient and cheap and they work so well. Okay, so a little bit lighter. Uh, this one is number nine. I believe it's peach blossom. So definitely has just like some nice peachy hue to it. And I really thought yesterday out of all of the um, products that I had put on that maybe the blush wouldn't last as long because it's a, a powder blush. Yesterday I used the terracotta blush and I'm putting it on, you know, kind of lightly. And so I was like, well, maybe the blush color won't last a super long time. But it sure stuck in there. My kids are trying to get in. Hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same thing on the lips. This stuff is so awesome. So awesome for your lips. Mine are even a little dry right now. This is just the Be Fit Lip and Cheek Stain. Gives me a nice, long-lasting pink color. Yes! And it's a stain. It's super, super liquidy and wet when you first put it on, but it's not real... Um, it's not real hard to work with at all. You almost just put it on like a gloss. And then I put on, I couldn't even find chapstick yesterday after this dried. And so I put on like a, I just put on some Vaseline on my lips cause they were dry and it totally still stayed on. It didn't, didn't come off. So I've got the lips on. I'm just gonna let that dry. <laughs> Do you hear my children? Did you know that the door is not actually locked? I don't know why they can't open it. <laughs> but there we go. There we go, another simple, easy day face. For camping, this is gonna last all day. I'm even gonna make sure it's gonna last all day because I'm gonna put my time locker setting spray on. Let that dry. And there is my timer going for my kids. I promise you I have not locked them out. That door is not locked. So thank you so much for watching. If you catch this on the replay, please take a hashtag replay, hashtag tardy, throw me another two. If you are interested in any of these amazing products, and trust me, I will take pictures later in the day today to show you how well they, they last. Um, then shoot me a note, click the, click the description, the link to all these amazing products are right there. I hope you guys also have an awesome Saturday and don't get locked out of your house. Like my daughter thinks that she's locked out of this trailer. Stay fit, stay fabulous. My beautiful friends know your worth and we'll see you next time.